Daily news, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 26th of July at 2022. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. And so guys, our security agents deployed to the border with South Africa have in the last two weeks collected a total of $27 million in revenue from smugglers as they continue with their crackdown on border crimes. The security team is reportedly targeting smugglers, illegal immigrants and immigrants will dealers operating along the border and the highways leading to Bulawayo and Harare conveying contrabands. Other criminal elements under the radar include those who are in the habit of bribing authorities to break the laws. Bedbridge head uh, of the police chief superintendent Chawna Nyongo said they were working with other security agents in eradicating border related crimes. He said they were conducting an operation dubbed no to cross border crimes. Chief superintendent Nyongo said so far between July 6th in July 24, they have seized goods worth hundreds of dollars and collected fines amounting to $27 million, which is a 6,000 US dollar and 2,000 rands from scores they had arrested for border related crimes. Our security teams are firm and will not leave any stone unturned against smuggling and bribery, he said. We encourage people to follow the correct route and procedures when carrying out their cross-border businesses. Between 6 July July 24, working together with other district JOC, a joint operations command members, we arrested 21 people for bribery and 19 those have already been convicted and sentenced. The senior police officer said they had robbed in all border stakeholders with the quest to deal effectively with crime with one vision. Chief Superintendent Nyongo said they had made enough deployments along the border and its flanks and major highways. We are enjoying excellent working relationships with our courts and border stakeholders in the fight against cross-border crimes, corruption and bribery, he added. He said in some instances the goods were being smuggled via the border, flanks and finding their way to the Dulavazimu bus terminals for loading into local intercity buses. In other instances, the goods are being offloaded into commercial trucks in the town's western suburbs for further transportation to inland Zimbabwe. Chief Superintendent Nyongo said they had adopted a zero tolerance uh, to corruption and warned those in the habit of bribing security agents to commit commit crimes that their days are numbered. We are not taking lightly to those who think they can bribe their way out, he said. So guys, uh, this is just a reminder is uh, to those who are thinking of smuggling things uh, to and from Zimbabwe. Yes, you must remember that not all of those are police officers, uh, soldiers, can have immigration, and corruption. We are not corruption. We are not going to be able to Sakapani is open like it's our own zone. Ah, in this way, we just could for three months. Imi mi mucho di pango muna atok South Africa. I want to go to Sungwa to Farirwa somewhere. As kwa nukonza arukup for nega zima. Muna nenga go to Farirwa because I can try by all means to bribe someone else. But I can't say open a money guy. And so, ah, got it all in the comment section. This is ah uh, daily news, breaking news, everyday news. You should know and understand that. Uh, bribing a police officer or a munemtemo is illegal and it will most of the time and it so so nowadays uh that's all normal so to tea uh one thing what i reckon you're going to pay drink and on the sea and doing that and it's so that's daily news breaking news everyday news bless up